I will die for these animals. I will die for these animals. I will die for these animals. This is my life. This is what I do. I love it. And that's my story here. For me, Timothy Treadwell. The kind warrior. This is Timothy Treadwell. He dedicated his life to the conservation of brown bears and spent over 13 summers living among them in Katmai National Park, Alaska. He became a well-known figure in the bear conservation community, writing books, giving talks, and even appearing on TV shows. But his life ended in tragedy when he and his girlfriend were attacked and killed by a brown bear in 2003. In this video, we will explore the life and legacy of Timothy Treadwell and the circumstances surrounding his untimely and unfortunate end. Katmai National Park is a vast and wild landscape, covering over 4 million acres of unspoiled wilderness. The park is located on the Alaska Peninsula, in the southwest part of the state, and is only accessible by boat or plane. The park is home to a wide variety of flora and fauna, including wolves, foxes, eagles, and moose, but the most famous inhabitants of the park are the brown bears. The park's coastline is rugged and rocky, with steep cliffs and fjords that plunge into the ocean. Inland, the terrain is dominated by the towering peaks of the Aleutian Range, with glaciers, rivers, and lakes scattered throughout the valleys. The park is also home to the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a volcanic ash-filled valley created by the eruption of the Nova Eruptive Volcano in 1912. Katmai National Park is home to one of the largest populations of brown bears in the world, with an estimated 2,200 bears living within its boundaries. These bears are part of the coastal brown bear population, which is genetically distinct from other brown bear populations. The bears of Katmai National Park are larger and more robust than their inland cousins, with males weighing up to 1,000. 400 pounds and standing over 9 feet tall when they stand on their hind legs. The bears of Katmai National Park are omnivores, eating a wide variety of food including berries, grasses, and nuts, as well as fish and other small mammals. The park is home to several rivers and streams that are filled with salmon during the summer months, providing the bears with an abundant source of food. During the salmon runs, the bears can be seen fishing in the streams and rivers, sometimes catching several fish in a single swoop. Timothy Treadwell was born in New York in 1957 and grew up in Long Island. As a young man, he struggled with alcoholism and drug addiction and spent several years working as a bartender in California. But in the early 1990s, he discovered his true calling, bear conservation. He became fascinated with the animals and spent more and more time in the wilderness, observing and studying them. Over the years, Timothy Treadwell became a well-known figure in the bear conservation community. He wrote several books and gave numerous talks about his experiences and his philosophy of bear conservation. He also appeared on several television shows and documentaries, including The Late Show with David Letterman and The Rosie O'Donnell Show. But his most lasting legacy was the foundation he created to help protect the bears and their habitat. The Grizzly People, as it was called, was a non-profit organization that raised funds for bear conservation efforts and education programs. Treadwell was passionate about spreading the word about the importance of preserving these animals, and he believed that through education and public awareness, he could make a difference. During his time in Katmai National Park, Timothy Treadwell gained a reputation for being particularly reckless and cavalier around the bears. He would approach them at close range and often touch or hug them, believing that he had a special bond with the animals. However, 
Many experts in the field considered his behavior dangerous and irresponsible. On October 5, 2003, Timothy Treadwell, a bear enthusiast, and his girlfriend, Amy Hugaynaw, were camping in Katmai National Park during the peak of the salmon season. At this time, the park was known to have a high concentration of bears, which were especially active due to the abundance of food. Treadwell and Hugaynaw set up camp near a salmon stream, which was a prime feeding area for the bears. A large male bear approached their campsite and attacked them on that day. The bear killed and partially with Tehu Gaynaw, while Treadwell attempted to fend off the bear with a frying pan. Despite his efforts, the bear overpowered Treadwell and also killed him, partially eating his remains. Their remains were later discovered by a pilot flying over the area. After investigating the incident, the National Park Service concluded that Treadwell's approach to bear conservation had put him in danger. Treadwell had ignored warnings from park rangers about the dangers of living among the bears, and had become complacent about the risks involved. He had also failed to take basic safety precautions, such as carrying bear spray, or setting up electric fences around his campsite. Treadwell had a close and seemingly affectionate relationship with the bears he lived among, but his behavior was often reckless and dangerous. He frequently approached the bears too closely, even touching and hugging them, and he often ignored their warning signs and aggressive behavior. The investigation also revealed several critical mistakes made by Treadwell in the days leading up to the attack. He set up his campsite near a salmon stream, which was a prime feeding area for the bears, and he left food out in the open, which attracted the bears to his campsite. He spent more time than usual with a female bear and her two cubs, which may have contributed to the attack. The National Park Service used the tragedy to raise awareness about the dangers of approaching bears too closely and the importance of following established safety guidelines while living and working in bear country. Additionally, the incident prompted a review of bear management policies in national parks across the United States. The incident also sparked a debate about the ethics and effectiveness of using personal relationships to protect wildlife, and prompted a review of bear management policies in national parks across the United States. The lessons learned from Treadwell's tragic encounter with a bear continue to be relevant and important today for anyone who spends time in the outdoors and comes into contact with wild animals. We hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of the events that led to Timothy Treadwell's tragic death and the lessons that we can learn from his experience. Remember, it's important to respect wildlife and to take appropriate safety measures when living and working in bear country. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.